Hi, my name is Bill, and today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the agitator base in your washer. The reason why you might have to do this is because the base is damaged or broken. For this repair, we'll be using a flathead screwdriver and a 716 socket and ratchet. Warning, before doing any repairs, please disconnect your power source. So this is the washer we'll be using in this demonstration. It's an Amana, and yours might be a little bit different than what we've got here, but the same technique should still apply. So we're gonna open up our washer here. So in order to get this top piece off, I'm gonna use a flathead screwdriver. And I'm just gonna push in on this tab right in here. And lift up and remove that. So you can see down in here, we've got a screw that's gonna hold the auger onto the rest of the assembly. And that's gonna be preventing us from actually taking the entire piece off. So we need to remove that screw first. So what I've got is a 7 16 inch socket and we're gonna loosen up the screw. And once you've got the screw loosened up enough, you can just pull up on the auger and that whole piece will come right off. So now I'm going to take off this plastic ring from the agitator base and then I can pull out the whole base. Now you can grab your new OEM replacement agitator base. If you don't have one already, you can find it on our online store. So now we can put the base in and that'll just drop in straight down over that pipe right there and you just push it down all the way. Now we'll put the plastic washer in and that's going to line up. There's four little tabs right there and those will go into the slots around the edges. And now we can put our auger back in and that'll go straight down like so. And then if your cam comes out like ours did, you're just gonna wanna line it up. There's gonna be on um, two sides, an extra slit right there. And those will match up with the tabs that stick out in the bottom there. So just line that up and that'll pop straight down. And now we can screw it all back into place. And once you've got it screwed down, you don't want to screw it down too tight, but you'll screw it down until it's tight enough that the entire assembly is held into place. So now we can put our fabric dispenser back on, and you'll see right on the side there, there's a clip, and that'll fit right into there. So we'll just push that straight down, clip it into place, so everything's secure now. We can close up the door, and your repair is complete. Finally, don't forget to plug in your appliance. If you need to replace any parts for your appliances, you can find an OEM replacement part on our website, PCApplianceRepair.com. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Your support helps us make more videos just like these for you to watch for free.